Hi everybody, Blaine Tyler coming to you again from Northeastern Ontario. Okay, so this is a follow-up, just trying to tie up some loose ends. Um, Sasquatch just stepped out of the tree line. In the clip, I thought he must have stepped on the embankment. But it turns out he's probably bigger than I expected, um, since when I was standing down there, I'm only half his height. So, um, this guy came out of the bush when I was looking for my lost SD card that fell out of my pouch into the gravel. And then when I was walking back, it creeped out. So as soon as I got to a safe distance, I turned and took a snapshot back down the train track. Here's the clip. Okay, so I'm just doing some follow-up. I got a snap of a Sasquatch that came out from the bush behind me. I don't like turning my back to it. I'm just trying to find where he might have stood. Um, there's a big indentation here that the, all the rain we've had in the last few weeks probably washed away in detail. But I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's uh, that deep in. Mine are only going, like even in the soft stuff, mine are only going about an inch or so. It's, uh, Four inches deep and it's about this uh, it's about that long. So I don't know. Sixteen inches. I'll get a clip of that in a second. But you can see where there might have been toe indentations. So, uh, what happened was, I lost my video card out of my pouch, kind of fanny pack thing here, and I doubled back to look for it, and I had my head down, because, you know, they're only that big, right, and I had a little plastic holder thing, um, so I was walking back and forth where I got my last footage and I sw swapped out the cards because uh, one seemed like it wasn't uh, running right so I swapped it out and walking back and forth and there's the marker in the picture 52 clicks or whatever it means and then something came out here and was doing this kind of pose watch me over there and I turned um, took a couple snapshots back up because when I was white hiking back through here I got a creeped out feeling and I kind of picked up the pace because of how close I was to the tree line and uh, these ones in here aren't used to being disturbed you got to be careful with those ones the ones that come out to public places they're used to people right but the ones that avoid people don't like being discovered or found or whatever and they can be aggressive run you out of the area or pick up one of those rocks and ding me off the head and that would be it so uh, yeah there's something there but because the ground's so uh, tore up um, can't really tell okay so let's have a look around other places Okay, so I just want to mention that um, even further back, his head and shoulders and part of his chest is above the branch where the branch is right at my head level. So, I don't know, tack on another foot taller than me at least. Um, there's a bigger one in behind him. I see him, but I just want to concentrate on the, the Sasquatch there that caught in the light. You can see the light highlighting his hair on his arm and shoulder. Anyway, here's the clip. So this is the area I was talking about. Um, I, I found prints in here, 18 inch prints. But when you're casting prints, you, you kind of contaminate the area with your own prints. But mine aren't, um, I'm gonna put this right here while I pick up the stick. Mine aren't, my, my prints aren't deep enough to cause that. That's uh, four or five inches deep. 
Mine are only going like an inch or so deep, but anyway, I got a clip or picture. Must have hopped that fence there, and somewhere in here, hopped that fence and I came out to watch what I was doing when I was looking for my lost uh, SD card. So I'm gonna have a look up that way a bit, but. I kind of got to be sneaky when I come in here because this is trespassing, right? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Maybe if you're not on the tracks, it's not trespassing, but still. Right, so I mentioned in the video there that I don't like turning my back. Um, you get that creeped out feeling, uh, being watched, sense of danger, whatever. I get that whenever I'm around them. Um, so anyway, here's a picture of the tree line of the clip. I got a couple shortened clips coming. Um, I started off uh, taking a snapshot of this because there's a dark shape right on the other side of that branch, but then I got looking at this clip and there's a gray shaggy one right there. I can see his head. He's trying to distort his head behind, behind a branch and I'll run the short clip of that and I'll come back. Anyway, I got a clip picture must have hopped that fence there and somewhere in here hopped that fence and I came out to watch what I was doing. okay so again the light uh, sort of gave him away a little bit I can see his light gray hair and then it's kind of darker gray skin face there um, if you notice in the clip the height changes I took some different snapshots but I just want to include the one that you can actually see him and uh, that's pretty creepy, eh? You do a follow-up to a follow-up, and the Sasquatch can read it and watch what I'm doing. Here's the clip again. Anyway, I got a clip. Or a picture. I must have hopped that fence there. And somewhere in here. Hopped that fence, and I came out to watch what I was doing. Right, so uh, pretty cool. And I just want to mention, yeah, I was panning fast there kind of uh, gets on your nerves when you know they're right behind you breathing down your neck. But anyway, um, I just wanted to post this so I can move on to another part of the footage that probably most people have never seen uh, with little juvies ducking. I'll post that next. Thanks for watching.